Hello, it's Melinda from Alexis and Melinda's Art Space. Coming on to do step two of Journaling by Fires, which is originally started by Shannon Green. I will link it below. Um, basically, it's 15 minutes and five different steps to create some art journal pages. So the first step was paint. So I will link. So, oh, it's a so not. You know, I've been working all day and I just wanted to get some creative stuff done. I love how my background's turned out. They've got this... Um, sort of texture on it because I put wet paint down and this is baking paper um, that you put down like cookie sheets you'd call it in America and for some reason it wrinkled when I was doing this and doing wet paint because you work quite quickly over your 20 pages and I love how these like cracks have appeared which is really cool and if I tried to get that effect I couldn't I won't show you all the pages so basically I am back to do step two and step two is texture I think it's called. So basically we're up to scrap paper, scrap. So I've got tissue paper, I've got napkins, I just went and grabbed a whole bunch of stuff, just scrappy little bits and then I've got a whole bunch of off cuts of paper, glue sticks wanting to fall over the place. I've got a couple of teddy pen liners, don't know whether I'll use those. Um, just a whole bunch of stuff. This is like the second tier from a napkin. This sort of went, the printing sort of went through, so it'll be interesting to see how that looks. Um, I don't know whether I'll use half this stuff. I've got some book page with some fans stamped on it. Just all sorts of scrappy things that I can pull from. Let's put that off to the side. I may tear some of these smaller. I may, I've got a couple of printouts, black and white printouts that I have not used. So I thought I'd use those. Put the tissue paper up there. And I've got a couple of napkins with your paper napkins. And I've got a few tissues here as well. Um, you just have to remove the white layer, which I've just separated the white layer from. Keep this because you can stamp on it and use it to collage. And it's ideal if you want these to be brighter. Now these will soak into the background and almost become translucent. But if you want them to be brighter, I find you take this off, you glue this down first, then you glue this down and it becomes whiter or brighter. So I've taken all those off. Now, I've got a mess. Let me see if I can do this without creating a huge mess and still staying in frame. Oh, I'm just gonna have to have it off to the side and let's just, oh, if I put it up the top here. Okay, I think I'm ready. I've got a pair of scissors if I want to cut, but I think I might tear most things because it's just quicker and I don't have to pick up the scissors. Okay, now, sorry if you hear a bit of humming in the background. I do have my machine running for work. As I said, I've been working all day and I just want to play. It's been about a week since I've done this. I was going to fill these, all these five steps over like a week, but it's sort of, by the time, I've just been so busy with life and with stuff. I just haven't got around to it. Okay, might not be much talking. I am going to see what I can do. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tack the stuff down with this glue stick, just where it, just like with a strip. Then I'm going to come back with my Mod Podge and Mod Podge. What am I coming back with? Mod Podge or Matte Gel Medium to stick everything down to go under and over the pieces. Sorry, it's late at night. And I just heard noise outside, so I was just listening to see what they are. So, let's hit my timer and see how I go. So, I've got 20 pages in. Let's stick my timer up there and see if I can see it. Ah, what did I just do to my timer? Oh, no, there we go. It's going. Um, so, I might start with this piece here. So I'll come back and it won't matter if I actually these come off because I'm going to glue them down. Anyway, let's stick some of this napkin on as well. Oh, can't pick up things today. So yes, I've been busy and hectic with work. It is starting to be my busy season with work. So I am obviously getting very, very busy. Let's stick this down here. Why? Because we can. Okay, move on to the next page. And I'm going to have stuff everywhere by the ends of it. By the ends of this, I can see that coming a mile off. Let's 
see if we at least have words going the correct way, which might be helpful. Just grabbing out colours that will sort of go. And so this is sort of add, adding texture and adding a bit of um, stuff. Let's add a bit of tissue. Um, and also, if you don't like a particular part of your page, this is the time to cover it up. I am going to stick fairly big ah, tissue paper. Stay. I am going to stick fairly big um, focal points on these, so I probably don't need a lot of... Oh, now I've got okay. stuff flying everywhere. Really? Okay, just pick something and stick and plonk. Stick and plonk, Melinda. Now I'm thinking too much. I'm also trying to get stuff from maybe the bottom of my pile. a bit of this napkin with the butterfly on it. Oh, there's always fun to tear. Oh, I just tore it in a really weird way. Ah, maybe this was not the best with the tissue, but I didn't really want to fuzz around with matte gel medium to start with. I just wanted to get some of this down. Let's use some of this. Use some of this tissue. Um, so these are tissues and stuff have just been gathered from all over the place. Um, mainly went through my scrap box and decided let's get out some of these. This one looks like it's been made into something and then I'm just going to tear some of it off and add it up here. What else have we got? Oh, we've got a half a circle thing that must have come out of the scrap box. Let's add that. That looks good in here work it under something. So we'll add that there. And let's why not put some butterflies on here as well. Why not? Oh this tissue paper is not wanting to tear tear correctly. And I just put the glue on the wrong side. You know what? Doesn't matter. It's gonna work. So not trying to not think too much about what I'm doing and try to make each of the pages a little different a bit of uh, crepe paper and gold. Stick some across here because we've been sticking them all the one way at the moment. Oh some black that'll go good on this page. So yeah I've been busy with work prep. I've got many craft shows am I doing this year? I'm a glutton for punishment. Um one, two, three, four, five. I've got five coming up the next between now and oh and another one in six events coming up between now and October which will keep me don't like that which will keep me rather busy and I also um, make stuff for other scrapbook stores as well so I've been doing that all weekend that's fun And been busy with life and Alexis and just, oh, life lately. Busy, busy, busy. I thought life would settle down, but apparently life just keeps getting busier and busier. Whoops. And I've got all this stuff. I probably don't need my... Every time I... Oh, thanks. Obviously that guy doesn't like his car tyres. I don't know whether you actually heard that. It'd be interesting to play this back. It's Saturday night here. So it's obviously idiot hour. And obviously he didn't need the um, tyres. He didn't need the... I'll think of it in a minute. The rubber on his tyres. I can't think and work. This is ridiculous. And unfortunately where I'm living at the moment is sort of on a main road-ish. So we unfortunately do hear a lot of the stupidity that goes on. I don't even know what I'm doing with this. I'm actually not thinking. I'm quite tired tonight. This is probably a good time to do this. I'm quite tired. 
I will come back and do some more on each page if I have time. But we'll see what time allows. This will look really cool. Unfortunately, we don't get a lot of these pretty tissue papers in Australia. I tend to get some around Mother's Day. Um, but don't tend to get... I'm hoping this purple glue stick dries clear. There's no purple spots. Um, yeah, we don't tend to get a lot of these nice... tissue papers that I see other people use. Oh, that page is nearly coming out of the book. Yeah, I thought I'd keep these in a book, but apparently that's not going to be the plan of the book. The book has other plans. Let's put some of this tissue paper down. I love some of these backgrounds. I was almost tempted not to use the backgrounds I tend to do that I will make something and then like it too much that I won't want to use it I don't know why I'm grouping all these I should just be rounding them and sticking them oh, sorry my back's getting a bit sore as I said I've been working all day trying to get this big order done that I have to go and deliver on Monday. Yeah, I'll stick all that down properly in a minute. It's going to be fun. I'm going to stick a movie on in a minute and go through and Mod Podge all these pages down. I'll probably go through a whole can of Mod Podge. How am I looking? I don't know how many pages I've done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I'm about halfway through. Oh, shit, I've got eight minutes. Oh, I shouldn't swear. Oh, sugar. I've got eight minutes left. So I better stop talking and start doing, hey? I like this one that says no picking. I know that one come from typo. Um, around about Christmas time, the tissue paper. And again, I was going to stick it on the wrong side. I don't want no peeking to be backwards. I like the words on there. I like big graphic -y words on some things. <coughs> Whoops a lot, aren't I? That's a cupcake liner. I'll fix that in a minute. Oh, now I've ripped it in two. I'll fix that in a minute. Let's use this scrap. Because that sort of goes with the colours. Let's in use some more of this napkin. That sort of has words oh, sort of has words on it, it has words on it. Let's stick that there. Interesting how these napkins go down. Oh, we've got some Tim Holtz music sheet. I haven't used some of that yet. Obviously, we're going to use a small piece of that because that's how it ripped off. Um, what else have we added to this page? Try to add different things to the different pages so they're not all. Sorry, just checking the words. I am a person that likes my words up the correct way. I'm a bit like that. I like things in a journal or in a book around the right way so you can read them. It's just me. I'm crazy. I'm nuts. I get told that quite frequently. But that's okay. I don't listen to a lot of people. Just trying to dive into my pile a bit more. Why not? I've got lots of time to waste, don't I, Melinda? This is Audi paper. Everyone had their own paper from a couple of years ago. Oh, I like that bit of colours. It goes rather nicely. Oh, and we'll put some clouds up here because we've got clouds with birds. Now I'm talking really fast because I've got to hurry my butt along. Eh, let's stick a third bit on that. Words. Words. Join them together. Whoop. Join them together. I've got... I can't read that. Oh, five and a half minutes left. Oh, and there goes more... T well, I'm not using that bit of tissue paper now. Flew across my desk. That's a problem with tissue paper. This one's got blue. Let's put some yellow tissue on this one. Um, this one's got the blue sparkles on it. So how's everyone been? Is everyone having a good year? This year has flown by. I cannot believe we're nearly into June. Like, hello, where did the last four months go? Seriously, it just feels like yesterday it was Christmas. I don't know what I'm doing here, I'm just plonking. 
honking looks like fun. Let's do some graph. Yeah. Oh, I've got about six pages to go. Okay, let's get serious. Let's get to the bottom of this pile. What have we got in the bottom of this pile? Oh, we've got some book text. Arr. I feel like I sound like a pirate now. Oh, I like this background. I don't want to move. I don't want to cover a lot of it up. Oh, it's a weird colour. Oh, let's stick this on. It's neutral. That's the off cut of a book. This is one of my off cuts of my jelly prints. This is a weird colour, that green. Maybe this will go. Again, I have to check what all my words go, and that's upside down. So we'll possibly go under there. As I said, if I've got time, I'll come back. Now. Oh, there's some more. I'm going to have paper galore to pick up off the floor. What about this piece? Oh. Sort of like that colour. Just trying to work out which side that is. I think that's supposed to be that side. So I'll turn it around like that. It's a piece of tissue paper I scrunched up and put some. Oh, this is cool colourings. Um, put some. I think of it a minute. Ink on. So I'm tired today. My poor brain. I think it's more my poor body. I'm not used to standing all day at the packing table packing shapes. But of course, who leaves it till the last weekend to get stuff done? <sighs> Some silly person. Maybe that. Whoops. Actually, we'll just go with that. Which way are the words going? Um. Yeah. Who left it till the last minute? Of course, I leave things to the last minute. What's the fun in that? I'm going to sit here for the rest of the night with my Mod Podge and glue these down properly. Arr, put R up here. Arr, sound like a pirate. I don't think this glue is actually going to work real well. What have we got left? Can't read that. Two minutes and 30 seconds, and I've got one, two, oh, five. Jesus! Five pages to go. No peeking. Let's get some more of that on. Just because it was on top. Let's put that there. To get to wriggle on. Wriggle on, wriggle on, wriggle on. I cannot do these types of videos when I have to talk and concentrate. Because obviously I'm not fast enough. Okay, that one's done. Ooh, this one needs some colour. I'm trying to make them different, even though they're... Oh, it's got a blob of glue on it. I'm trying to put different pieces down. I'll probably bring some of this green into this one. Um, trying to put different pieces down so not all my pages look the same. I'm going to sit and cut my focal points on Monday. I still have stenciling to go on this one. Let's just throw some of this down. Um, but I'm going to sit and cut my... I've got a five hour train trip on Monday. So I'm going to take my magazines and sit and cut a bunch of focal points. So then I have... because I won't have any other time any other time. But what other thing have I got to do on a train for five hours? Not much. Whoops. Sorry, not talking. Concentrating because my time's running out. This is my concentrating silence. Has anyone done um, journaling by fives? Is anyone going to join in and do it with me for the first time? Sorry, I'm just trying to tuck that under there. I don't know why I'm being so fussy. Oh, what's this? Let's stick this on. 16. That sounds good. 
can't really see that, but I'll do that. I'll do some doodling around that. Okay. Oh, whoops. Oh, well, I had two pages to go. So let's get these two pages done fairly quickly. Let's stick that go on there. Yeah, okay, it's in my hand, so it's going on there. Let's just do these pages quite quickly. I didn't think I'd actually get it done in that allocated time because I talk too much, but that's all right. Let's put this funky bit of map down. And again, it has to be up the right way because I'm a little retentive like that one. This one just got stuck there because it fell there and it's half there anyway. So it was half under there. Top of that bit. I don't know why I'm layering everything up on this side. I think we need some butterflies. I need some more flutterflies. Oh, this tissue paper is not tearing straight for me tonight. Last page. Now I like this page because oh, butterflies are flying. Seriously, I either need to get less stuff on my desk or a bigger desk. Um, I love this one. How I've got the drips. See if I can not cover up most of the drips. So I'll go a strip up there. Again, the words have to go up the right way because I get like that. This is printed, it looks like printed newspaper. I think I got this from Kmart years ago on clearance. I'm trying to get deep into my stash this year. Let's use this little bit of butterfly up um, and use up a lot of a lot of bits and a lot of older stuff and not buy stuff. Alexis will have to and I will have to stop going to Melbourne for different reasons and buying stuff because I'll just have to quit the trips to Melbourne and then I'll quit the buying because you can't go all the way to Melbourne which is a two and a half hour train trip to just um, not go to the shops that I'm in Bendigo. Sorry, just checking the writing. This is the last one I'm going to stick on here. I'm going to stick that up and over here. Okay, so those are my very, very globby glue stick. Clunk. Um, they are my collage pages done. Now, I didn't use up as much as I thought. I still got a big stack, but that's okay. These will go into my box of bits be used up eventually. Um, didn't even get to these two. I did that with the paints. I didn't get to the two black and white pictures I wanted to incorporate. That's right, maybe I'll turn these into focal images. Um, I grabbed out way too much. It's good to have a variety but I always grab out too much. So I will go stick a movie on, see what's on TV, or stick a movie on and sit here and do the boring job of mod podging down. Even grab this sticker, I thought this would be fun to stick on too, but, which is the waste bit of the stickers. But alas, we didn't get to that corner of the pile. I will go put that back in my scrap box in a minute. And put it to the front of my book again and grab my, find my mod podge and stick all these pieces down properly. This book is getting rather fat now. I don't think it's going to last till the end because the pages are already coming out. So maybe I'll just turn them into single pages. Thanks for watching. And when I come back, I'll do the third step, which I believe is stencil or stamping, which I may do a combination of both. And then I believe the fourth one is oh, focal images or words. And the fifth one is doodling. Doodling should be fun and drawing because I like doing that. Bye for now.